If you like historic lighthouses, coastal views, and horseback riding on the beach, then this video is for you. Welcome to Point Arena, California. It is Grant's birthday weekend! So we are celebrating by spending the weekend at the West Coast tallest lighthouse. That's at Point Arena, California. It's this beautiful 150 year old lighthouse. They still keep the light on despite, you know, all the technology that, that they have on boats. And we're staying up there um, for two nights and we can't wait to show you our adventures. Point Arena is just a three hour drive north of San Francisco. Along the way, you'll take Coastal Highway 1, which is one of the most gorgeous drives in California. Heading north, you'll have miles of rolling hills and farms to your right, with jagged cliffs and the Pacific Ocean to your left. It's beautiful. We arrived at Point Arena just before sunset, and of course, we were hungry. So before we checked into our accommodations for the night, we stopped in at Point Arena Pizza for some dinner. There was a little bit of a wait, but when this is the view, it's hard to complain. With our bellies full of pepperoni and cheese, we headed to the lighthouse. A nonprofit owns a lighthouse now, including the surrounding acreage and the buildings where the lighthouse keeper used to live. These units are now vacation rentals. We stayed in the keeper's room, which rents for about $200 a night on weekends. It comes with a bed, an ensuite bathroom, a mini fridge, a dining area, and an electric fireplace. So even with the wind howling outside, we were quite warm and cozy inside. The next morning, we headed next door to the gift shop and museum. It's a great place to pick up some gifts, souvenirs, and to look at some historic artifacts, including a gigantic Fresnel lens that was once used at the lighthouse. One of the coolest perks of staying on site is that you actually get a private tour of the lighthouse. And when you do get to the top, just know that it's gonna be insanely windy, so be sure to hold on to your belongings. Whoa! My sunglasses are blowing off! Go up another flight of stairs and you'll get 360 degree views from a beautiful observation deck that's fully enclosed. And of course, what goes up must come down. We carefully made our way back downstairs and off to lunch. So we just finished our tour of the lighthouse and it was amazing and amazingly windy. It was, uh, our tour guide actually took out a device to measure the wind up there and it was 34.5 miles per hour, the winds. So it was pretty insane. My sunglasses almost blew off. Grant almost lost his sunglasses. Um, so we had to hold on for dear life, but it was an amazing view. I don't, I can't think of any better view of the Pacific Ocean and the coastline that I've seen. After our tour, we are now heading over to the Rollerville Cafe, where we're gonna have some lunch before our horseback riding session this afternoon. So fun fact here at Point Arena, California, it's the closest point to Hawaii in the contiguous United States. So we're here at the Rollerville Cafe, check out their cool sign, showing off that fact. Oh, 
So I got uh, corned beef hash. Um, really good. Nice amount of uh, hash in it. Comes with uh, some bread and it's a nice plate of food. Beach. The beach. So we're heading out to do horseback riding on the beach. Can't wait. Ross Ranch is a mother-daughter owned business. They do a couple of tours a day and they're very good at what they do. They know each horse's temperament and quirk, so you'll know exactly what to expect with the horse they pair you with. I'm not gonna lie though, it was a little bit scary going down the cliffs to the beach, but the horses were so well trained that they were basically on autopilot. Turns out you can build up quite the appetite horseback riding, so we headed back into town to get an early dinner at the Arena Market and Cafe. The Arena Market and Cafe is an organic co-op with a small grocery store and eatery, so if you're staying in town, if you have an Airbnb or something, this is a great place to pick up food and supplies. It was a cold and windy day, so I went for some comfort food. I got the self-serve mushroom soup and a turkey panini. After enjoying our meal and coffee, we drove back towards the lighthouse to take in the sunset views. It really was beautiful, and we had the whole place to ourselves. If you liked our Point Arena video, check out these other travel videos on our channel. See you next time!